What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Black Ranger video. It has been a long hiatus, but we are here once again. I got the Ranger Fit T on, so there's been a lot that I have to cover. Hopefully, I can start doing that because I'm getting... I know I said this before, so we're going to backtrack a little bit. I know I said this before um, that I was getting a grip on life, and of course, life happened again, so we got other things going on. I am going to be a lot busier, but I will do my best to make sure that I stay dedicated and putting forth YouTube videos because I, I, I do want to kind of be like in that content creator realm, but I want to be an individual. Like I want to stand out. I want people to know like, oh, that's TJ, not just like, oh, that's Black Ranger, right? So not everybody's going to know me on like a personal level, of course, but like this is my way to kind of get everybody to some level so like if you see me in the street you can say what's up i'll chop it up with you so on and so forth right so yeah i am prepping today for the open house at crunch and some of them i'm going to try to get a workout in beforehand so that way i can you know kind of get pumped and ready but i dropped ranger fit man everything went good i had a lot of positive feedback i was happy i was thankful for everybody that's been able to support me thus far and i'm just forever grateful man like it's it's not something that I can easily do by myself mentally it is a little tough because it's it, you're starting from the bottom I don't really have a lot of resources but I'm thankful that I'm able to get those necessary resources through friends and family that care so much about what I'm doing so you know I'm doing the best that I can to make it to the top I want to reach my mountain as best way possible right of course, there's going to be hiccups along the way, but I'm prepared for that. What's different from Ranger Fit and what it was when it was monumental, I'm learning to bet on myself, take the necessary chances, take those risks, be about me. And that is the ideology behind Ranger Fit. Like, it's not just a fitness brand. It's about a lifestyle. It's about betting on yourself. It's about taking those chances, making those risks, you know doing everything necessary to put yourself in a better position that's what i want for everybody man so as we find our identity i'm figuring it out step by step and gonna be kind of going into like that whole lifestyle route but also having some things in like the athletic wear as well i want to be able to diversify so that way we can be something for everybody you know I'm not really a fashion person, but it's just something about having a lifestyle brand on top of having athletic wear that just entices me so much that I want to get into it. So I take a lot of inspiration from Russ and his brand, which was the Get, it, get Better Today and this Now The Better brand. I was listening to their podcast earlier. Like, if you know me, you know how much like that man has inspired me. And it's not to be like on some you know, for the younger, uh, you know, for like, for the older audience, like meat riding, like I don't, he, it's just inspirational. You know, I, I find a lot of things that he does inspirational and like, it really helped me figure out what I want to do for myself and as far as like merch and like getting myself out there. Like I do my best with my content creating. I do my best with putting out content and I've gotten better. I'm trying not to be lazy with editing and such, but like I'm trying. And like, I'm really betting on me. And so that's what all this is about, is just betting on yourself. So I'll record some of the workout and I should have some footage for the open house, but you know, we are back in the YouTube grind and getting into things. So I just want to say thank you for support. Thank you for being here. Cause you know, it's, it's been a minute, but uh, you know, yeah. So finish this up and I'm going to be cracking it up. I don't know. I don't know really how to close this out, but yeah. You know, just gonna go ahead and like get the lift in.
just made it to the, the Ranger YouTube channel. What's up? How's it feel? Feels good. Yeah, this is Octane like. Addict. Chilling with Ranger Fit. Hell yeah. T rapping his car. T rapping his <laughs> yeah, what's up, bro? What's up? Tell them what's up, man. You know, they can't see you because you're so dark. You're on my character right now. Oh, but shit. you know, <laughs> how's it feel, sir? To have your, uh, your whip on the coming to fruition. It feels great. Look at it. We call this Midnight Purple Black. <laughs> berry Blast. <laughs> midnight Berry Blast. You know, I mean, the Ranger Channel isn't just about fitness and, you know, what I do in my daily life. We also do car stuff too. Y'all hit up Brooke F30. Yeah, that's Brooke right there. With her. Oh. This man's my biggest fan. Hey, chill out, bro. Let's see, where did we leave off at, right? Oh my God. That'll do. Uh, right. Crunch open house yesterday. I think it was a success, a success. I would give it an 7.5 out of 10 on the engagement scale. As far as like experience, of course it's like a mid, so I'll, like, I'll be gracious and give myself a six out of 10 for that one. I know what I need to do next time and I will be setting up open house for new releases. So of course, if you're in the Charleston, Charleston area, mm, my bad. Just playing with the, the camera, trying to get like the best lighting. Anyway, if you're in the Charleston area, Crunch Number is where I'll be at. I'll try to make a basically like a little round trip to each of them. Uh, the one in Mount Pleasant and of course in North Charleston as well. So biggest thing is building up the exposure, being, building up a lot of the connection and then of course connecting. I'm trying my best with like local big time influencers to get the best promoting so like giving them free merch in order to kind of get that exposure you know for myself because i'm an up-and-coming brand working on a lot of things and then just trying to check a lot of my boxes so i think that it, it went pretty well uh and i'm sorry that i couldn't give you guys like full in depth of like everything that was going on for my pre-order drop and like it, it things have just been a little hectic so uh, this is week one of the New Endeavors vlog, I, I guess you can we can call it that. Also, I am in bodybuilding prep. So November 11th is my show date. Currently 22 weeks out and just making sure that I, I learn. It's a big learning process. If I'm not learning something, then I'm doing something wrong. So last thing, yeah, so bodybuilding, it, from a training perspective with bodybuilding, it's been so different. I'm focusing on really that mind and muscle connection and bettering my posing when i first started posing i didn't know anything about like catching the right angles or knowing like where to flex for certain body parts now i've gotten to a point where like my mind and muscle connection has gotten a lot better so i know how to properly if you like flex my quads how to get my hamstrings to drop a little bit more certain tips and tricks i'm learning you have to be a student of the game because that's the only way that you're going to grow uh, training style right now it's still a bit monotonous I'm doing some outside learning from what my coach is trying to tell me because I need to make sure like I know my body a hundred percent when it comes to full-on training and then how how to present my best package right how to present my best package I just want to win my first show I've been told I should stick to classic. I've also been told that I should do open. I've got a lot. Of, I've gotten a lot of su suggestions, though I can't talk for some reason. I've gotten a lot of. I've gotten a lot of suggestions for open, and for those that don't know, like open bodybuilding, you got like the greats like Ronnie Coleman, Dorian Yates, Kai Green, Phil Heath, uh, Flex Lewis. You know, like those those guys. And in classic, classic is one of those like those newer things back in the day that's what like arnold and uh lou ferrigno um sergio olivia like a lot of them a lot of them did that that was classic back in the day but that was also considered open bodybuilding right now you've got ramon you've got chris bumstead um i can't think of his first name but like on his instagram tag is the miracle bear he's he's got a wonderful physique um brion though like uh brion i think his last name was robinson i'm not sure but 
And Terrence Ruffin, who is also like the GOAT poser of all time, in my opinion. Uh, so they, these are guys that like, that I see and like, I would love to do classic physique, but I also need to make sure that I take the fastest way to go pro. And the difference between bodybuilding and powerlifting, aesthetics for bodybuilding, you, you just, you're crafting your body. That's literally what it is. You need to present your best package every single time you get on stage. Do I miss powerlifting? Of course. I miss, you know, not the monotony, but like I miss like going in and like not knowing what I'm going to hit that day, you know, how my training programs are going to be, so on and so forth. Like I, I do miss the environment, but it's also good that like I'm following my heart. And that is what I encourage a lot of people to do is just to follow their heart. If you know you want to do a certain sport, do it. Just do it why not like what have you got to lose like some people might say like oh it's just a hobby for me this is my everything this this is my everything so i don't have much to really kind of like pride myself on and with this i'm learning so much about myself and how far i'm willing to go to win so um just kind of wrap things up like i just want to keep putting my best foot forward striving for the best I, I do get on hiatuses, but like I'm doing better with recording, bringing my camera with me, and then making sure that I hold myself accountable for getting content at any given moment, because it is just me. A lot of this is just me, and that's okay. That's okay. I appreciate the support that I do get. Um, but with that being said, you know, I'm just on my journey. We're gonna get it. New drop coming soon. About to go ahead and have things locked in. I just can't wait to drop this Essentials Collection first. And then we're getting ready for the rodeo. So thank you for tuning in to today's video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your mamas, tell your daddies. Your boy is just on the come up. Let's get it. Peace and blessings. We out.